Throughout the EV curriculum track, we talked about EVs of all kinds. BEV city cars like the Nissan Leaf and the Ford Focus Electric, and plug-in hybrids like the Chevy Volt and the Prius plug-in. But one EV, a BEV to be more precise, rules the EV world. That car is the Tesla Model S. The Tesla Model S represents a significant automotive achievement. Superior to other BEVs and PHEVs in virtually every category. Looks, interior volume, interior technology, including a stunning touchscreen display that replaces almost all switches and buttons. An exterior design that is one of the lowest drag coefficients in the industry and the most range of any BEV. And performance that is, well, there's a performance setting on the P85D version that's called insane and they're not joking. Interestingly, it's also superior to every other comparable premium ICE vehicle in almost every category. It has received dozens of awards, including Motor Trend Car of the Year in 2013 and thousands of unqualified rave reviews. I'll admit, it's hard for me to be objective because I own a Model S. That's an early picture of my car on the right of your screen, VIN number 184, right after I got it in 2012. It is, without qualification, the best car I've ever owned. So, how did a car that almost everyone admires come about? Tesla Motors began in 2003, and interestingly, it began without its current leader and visionary, Elon Musk. The company was struggling to survive when in 2004, Musk invested $6 million in Tesla Motors and decided to take the com company in a somewhat different direction. Musk, known for brash predictions, stated that he would change the future of automobiles. Immediately, Musk and Tesla Motors became an upstart in a staid industry. The old line companies figuratively snickered and told anyone who would listen that he, Musk, couldn't get it done, that his goals weren't achievable, his strategy would lead to ruin, and profitability, absolutely laughable. So much for conventional wisdom. After its launch in late 2012, the Tesla Model S received dozens of awards, including Motor Trend Car of the Year. We've prepared an infographic so you can see on your screen some of these awards summarized. Pause this video for a moment to take a look. It's really quite impressive. For example, Top Gear deemed the Model S the most important car they've ever tested. Consumer Reports gave it rave reviews with a rating of 99 out of 100. The NHTSA gave it the best safety rating of any car ever tested. CNET awarded the Model S Tech Car of the Year. The list is long. Because Musk conceived of Tesla as an EV company, he wasn't hesitant about his approach to the market. He went all in, top down. He figured correctly, it turns out, that he needed to erase the preconceived notions about EVs, that they were little toys not intended for serious car enthusiasts. First, he decided to build a high-end, high-performance sports car in low volume. The car was called the Roadster. It generated a lot of press, and Tesla was recognized as a player in the exotic car world. Next, he would build a premium high-performance sedan in mid-volume, the Model S, with the intent of competing with the best luxury cars in the world. Following the success of the Model S, he would offer variants of the Model S, a dual motor Model S, the Model X, an SUV crossover vehicle. And finally, once the brand was well established, he would build a mid-level affordable car, the Model 3. The first three elements of the strategy are in place, and the last will be completed in the 2017-2018 timeframe. Like most other things about Tesla Motors, its business model is also unique. Almost three years into its production run for the Model S, the company has spent zero advertising dollars. Zero. 
and yet it sells over 3,000 premium vehicles each month. It uses an online sales approach and shows the Model S in company stores that are typically located in large upscale malls. It has established regional service centers for those times when the Model S needs service. As a consequence, the company threatens the existing auto dealership model and has experienced significant pushback from many automobile dealer associations in some states. We talk about this in an EVU mini course dedicated to the topic later in the Model S track. In addition to its retail operations, Tesla Motor also sells electric powertrain components to other automobile companies and has made many of its patents available for use by its competitors. In the next part of this EVU mini course, we'll examine how the Model S is made and where the company that makes it is going.